Get ready to immerse yourselves in the captivating realm of Prism, the ultimate IRL mobile live streaming app that will revolutionize the way you share your life with the world. From heart-pounding adventures to thought-provoking discussions, Prism empowers you to bring your unique stories to life live from your mobile. Whether you're an NPC streamer raking it in on TikTok, a hot tub streamer streaming on Twitch, or enjoying chilled mobile streaming on YouTube Live, Prism takes your content creation to awe-inspiring new heights. Embrace the magic of Prism, redefine the art of live streaming, hit that subscribe button, and let's go. So I'm covering the mobile phone app today, but Prism also has a desktop app available. I will not be covering the desktop app in this video. It is for live streaming and there's all kinds of functionality built into this piece of software. It is a beautiful piece of software. I've used it quite a lot and it is amazing. You can live stream to multiple platforms or a single platform if you want, including TikTok, Twitch, Trovo, all kinds of different platforms. You can screencast your mobile screen to a live stream. You can share media, music, text files, web files, all from the Prism My Studio part. There's a bank of existing available widgets that you can use baked into the mobile app, which is just unbelievable. I will be getting into that later in the video. There's also baked in effects into there. So like reactions, stickers, GIFs, a real huge array of different effects that you can use live whilst you're streaming from your mobile. The closest thing I can think of for the editing tool is TikTok because the editing is also pretty good inside of Prism as well. I don't say this enough in my videos, but this is one time where I really mean you it. You should watch this video from start to finish and look at every single feature that I'm going to cover here. Prism have asked me to keep it less than nine minutes, which is tough for me because I speak a lot. But every single function that I'm going to be covering, I know you will find very, very useful. So just stick with me. Just watch this. Honestly, it's worth it. I'm going to be covering downloading and installing Prism live streaming app. The list of features is so long. I'm just going to try to pick out the best ones for you guys, okay? Then I'm just going to tell you what my favorite parts of this app are, and I'll keep that bit quite short as well. First things first, this is available for iOS and Android, but I'm going to be covering the iOS because I don't have an Android phone, but I do know that it works really, really well on Android. But you're going to need to download the Prism mobile app, and this will enable you to live stream from your mobile. Once that's installed on your device, simply hit open and you'll be greeted with the welcome screen. I chose to log in via Twitch. Just see the usual Twitch login details here that you'd see. Click authorize on the permissions here and that's it. You're in the app and you're fully set up. It'll bring your profile picture in. You just need a few more permissions like your microphone, your camera and your photos and things like that. All in all, the setup here took literally about 30 seconds end to end. It was dead easy. Now, I'm going to be covering some of the different features from Prism as well. And honestly, you're going to need to see some of these features. They're absolutely brilliant. I was super impressed. It's not just what exists in the app. It's how it's been implemented and how beautiful it all is as well. It really is a wonderful combination of form and function in the Prism live streaming app. I'll just be showing you features and setup stuff almost like rolled into one. Quickly just covering some of the different options that you've got here. You can set default stream connections here. For example, connect to Twitch and to YouTube and things like that. But there's also another section of the app where you can add things on the fly as well, including how to connect TikTok to your streaming account and how to stream on TikTok from your mobile as well. You can set the resolution, the stabilizing. You can even set things like the ISO of the camera, which I've not seen on any other live streaming like application on a mobile phone, which I thought was pretty cool. And some other settings as well, cinematic and all that kind of stuff. And then of course the bitrate, the resolution, all of the things you'd normally expect to see inside of a live streaming app, but inside of a desktop one. But this is mobile. They actually give you all of these options before you even get to the point where you're setting up your stream to do the creative stuff. So that was really a cool thing about this app. A nice little quality of life thing here is that the help, the Discord, the version information, everything was all there in the menu. Into the camera settings themselves, when you've got your camera turned on, you can also turn your mic on and off as well. Really good that you can just do these things from within the app. For instance, if you need to momentarily turn your camera off midstream, you can do that. If you need to take it, turn your mic off, you can do that. You can't do these things in every 
every other mobile live streaming app. So they've really thought about what the creator actually needs to do whilst they are live streaming. There's also chroma key as well. So if you're sat with a green screen, the settings within the Prism app can cut out the greens. You can define all of the similarity and all the normal settings you would have for a chroma key. Why is this important? It, well, it means that you can actually do streaming styles that you wouldn't normally be able to do on other mobile live streaming platforms. If you can green screen through your phone, it means you can green screen yourself onto anything, whether it's a game, a piece of content that you've uploaded from your device, which by the way, is something else you can do. You can upload a video from your device and live stream that, which I thought was pretty cool as well. Once you're done with your settings, you can now click to go live. But in terms of the basics here, you simply tab whether or not you want to multi-stream and you select which platforms you want to multi-stream onto. If it's something like Twitch, you can also set the channels. For example, just chatting here has been set and that's something that you can do whilst you're streaming. You can change the channel. Here, just covering some of the cool reactions as well. So these are random touch reactions that are kind of full screen interactivities. A cool thing about this is that they also categorize them into different functions as well. Greetings or congratulations or awesome. Now, bear in mind, these are things that you can do within the app. So if someone pops in and says, hey, it's my birthday now, you can click on the congratulations and select from a bank of reactions. Again, you just do not get this in most of the other live streaming apps from a mobile phone. Another thing I really liked here is that you can just draw on screen as well. So you can just on the fly, whilst you are streaming, pick up the pen and start drawing on your own screen and the viewers will see exactly what you write on the screen. You can select the pen, the color, you, you can even quickly undo or even just bin whatever it is that you've typed. That's quite a cool, neat little feature that they've put into this. One thing to bear in mind as well is that this app was free. I was in and logged in within 30 seconds and it was completely free. I was totally baffled by the amount of development that they've put into this product without charging for it. We've not even got to the good part yet. This app has loads of widgets just built into it. It supports browser sources, so you can have third-party widgets built into this as well. Cool thing about it is that you can actually preset some widgets. So if you've got like seven or eight different favorite widgets that you want to use, but maybe you don't want to have them all turned on at the same time, what you can do here is just have them set up. It makes it faster for you to turn on and off those widgets kind of whilst you're streaming. Otherwise, you're actually in the app trying to set some of these things up, which is cool if you're good at improv, but not everyone's that great at improvisation. And therefore, you might want to have these preset up. We've got playlists, text, so we can set a standard text thing on the screen. For example, the topic that you're streaming about or a hot take or something like that. What I liked about the text settings is it wasn't just putting text on screen. Prism allows you to actually create like interactive text on the fly. So customize interactive text, even on desk desktop based streaming applications, you would have to spend many minutes or even like an hour setting some of these things up. You can do this whilst you're streaming. You can just set up a social media call to action, put the text onto that social media call to action, turn it on, interact with your viewers to tell them to like and subscribe the video, and then turn that call out off on the mobile streaming app. I just think that's absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like that from a mobile app. There are a load more widgets to choose from as well, like clocks and timers and social Socials, banners, all sorts of things like that. And there's even scenes. Yes, you can get scenes. So that means if you want to be right back, you can put an interesting scene, just like you can do on the desktop apps like OBS Studio or Streamlabs. You can do it here on the mobile app. One of my favorite features from the Prism live streaming mobile app here was the chat widget. It is so clean. Like, the cleanest I've seen, certainly on mobile, and maybe even if you include desktop as well. You can add this. It connects to your Twitch or multiple different streaming sites if you're doing multi-streaming, and then just put it wherever you want to put it on screen. Another one of my favorite features was the quality of life status bar at the top here, which tells you what your FPS is, kilobits per second upload rate is, your battery life, and even your microphone volume. All of that quality of life information is there for you. That's pretty important because if you're running out of battery or your microphone phone level isn't great or you're dropping frames, normally on a mobile live streaming application, you wouldn't know half of that stuff. You're relying on the feedback from your viewers. I've live streamed from other mobile live streaming apps where it's cut out and the only no way I've known this is that chat has just turned off. It's just stopped and you're there a minute later trying to figure out what's going wrong. With this status bar, it tells you exactly where you're at on your stream. It also looks really nice and is designed very well, so it's not very obtrusive for you as the live streamer too. What an absolutely incredible piece of kit, a great piece of software. One of, if not the best pieces of software I've personally seen and used 
for live streaming. Hopefully you guys will be using this tool. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed that video, you're definitely going to enjoy this one too. This is how you can add your mobile phone as a screen inside of OBS. Thanks for watching and see you later.